Now, Governor Pritzker cut his campaign a check for $90 million over the weekend. That is the single largest political contribution in Illinois history. And now he could have competition from a Republican with big money backing him. Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell live in Springfield. Mark, Aurora Mayor Richard Irvin jumped into the race today. If he wins, he'd become the state's first ever black governor. Jessica, Richard Irvin chose today, Martin Luther King Day, to launch his bid to become the first black governor to lead the land of Lincoln. And in his campaign video, he invoked his own great-grandfather's dream that he would one day be set free from slavery. In Irvin's rollout, leaning into his experience, growing up with a single mom in a poor neighborhood, surrounded by gang violence and drug crimes, he went on to fight in the Gulf War and came home to fight crime as a prosecutor in Cook County, then in the Aurora community itself. He claims that's where he went alongside officers on drug raids. Taking back one corner or apartment complex at a time, putting gang bangers, drug dealers, and wife beaters in prison. I've seen it up close. To fund the police is dumb, dangerous, and costs lives. And I believe that all lives matter. Every family should be safe. Running our second largest city, crimes come down because the police budget has gone up. You're hearing that tough on crime message. Just like the rest of the country, overall crime in Aurora has dropped slightly since the pandemic. Some split numbers on which types of crimes you're measuring. But just like the rest of the country, violent crime and shootings have gone up in Aurora since 2020. It's Irvin's resume and his personal story fighting overseas and then fighting crime in Chicago and Aurora that, that really pairs well with the Republican strategy to try and win against Governor Pritzker in 2020. They want to pin the rise in crime on Governor Pritzker. Griffin's website claims that after those protests in the summer of 2020 that were sparked after the death of George Floyd, that he called in the National Guard. Just for sake of clarity and a fact check there, no mayor has that power. That power is up to the governor, and Governor Pritzker did indeed send in the National Guard to Kane County and Aurora, that city that Irvin was leading in that same summer. Reporting in Springfield, Mark Maxwell, WCI3, your local news leader. All right, Mark, thank you.